what's going on guys today I want to talk to you about something that's very important and could probably change your life and it has to do with your junk so you need to pay attention for years and years this has always been an issue with with depending on how the sizes of you your junk and the ratios of things and then underwear all right you know you've always had the classic argument between boxers and briefs and now you've got boxer briefs and then your banana hammocks and all the other whatever but the main issue that stems with a lot of underwear is that it kind of compresses your junk together all right and with that you know, especially depending on what climate you live in like I'm up here in the Pacific Northwest so even though it's nice and cool outside you know when you're out in the yard work and getting stuff done and blah blah blah, blah you know you start generating sweat and moisture and all that junk is kind of packed together in like that and dark humid dank places for you know how however long your shift is it could be 8 16 12 hours however long you know you know, you get bacterial issues, but I'm not, I'm, dare I say, fungal issues could happen, but either way, like, things start happening down there. You have a nice little ecosystem of stank going on in your grundle area. Now, depending on if you're a big guy or little guy, this has kind of always been a thing. If you have a penis and testicles and they're being compressed by underwear, it can or will affect you to some degree. Now, the bigger of a guy you are, depending in the junk or the frontal area, whatever, these issues sort of increase. Now, speaking personal experience, you know, I'm 6'3", that's 75 inches tall. I don't know, for you metric people, that's like, I don't know, 168 centimeters. I, to an, I don't know the math right now. Either way, I'm a pretty tall guy, but I'm 300 pounds. I'm a big dude, okay? And even the skinnier big guys, all right? Say you've just got really big thighs. All right, and I knew this because in my tiny days, when I was 200 pounds coming out of Marine Corps boot camp in 2005, uh, when I got to a school of infantry, I had a big issue with like major chafing going on in my thighs, just because you know you got big legs. I was still skinny for my height, but it was still like man, I got big legs. Chafing was an issue, and I had a sergeant tell me, "Hey man, you need to get your hands on a set of these like Under Armour boxer briefs." All right, and I bought a few of them and tried them, and they were the it was it was life changing. Like, it was the best if I was going to do any kind of workout or, you know, that was the underwear I used for pretty much the rest of my adult life. And here I am in 2020, and they're still my go-to specials. I buy, like, six, seven sets a year, you know, and I wear them a lot, and they, they wear out. But, uh, anyway, it's Under Armour, okay? They're moisture-wicking, anti-microbial, whatever. Fantastic. Under Armour is a great company, and I have loved them, tried and true, forever. And they last a long time. The problem with these Under Armours, though, while I love them, the elastic is very strong on them. It's a really good durable material, but it just smushes everything up in there, if you get what I'm saying, all right? They do a great job, and it's a compression fit. That's the whole point of it. You know, that material compresses to your skin and wicks the sweat away from you to enhance cooling and prevent the moisture buildup and yada, yada, yada. Now, when that does that, you're having to compromise some room. And Under Armour, I don't know. I don't feel like they give you enough room of fabric in the crotchal junk region because it it's always had been that way, but it just feels like everything is just smushed up. Like if you're looking at the back of a pig's ass and just everything is just like, that's how I feel when I wear my Under Armors, all right? And at the end of like a long day, if you're not, like I said, bigger guys and some people are going to know the issues I'm talking about here, but you've got your baby powder or your, shit, I remember using, was it Gold Bond? You know, your various kinds of, you powder up. You you know, you start your day, powder up your junk, and then put your stuff on, you know, and hopefully that would take care of most of your moisture issue. But depending on what you do, like I, I worked corrections for 10 years, so you work a, tw you know, yeah, 8, 12, or 16 hour shift, the powders aren't just going to cut it. I mean, if you're just sitting on your butt the whole time, sure, but you know, if you're actually working and moving around a lot in 16 hours, you know, one little application of the powder is going to cut it. And by the time you get home and peel those suckers off and you hear that wet as they come off, that's that's gross, all right? And it happens. It's just been there for years. And I know some of you guys are going, oh, what are these talking about? And a lot of you are going, yep, yep, been there. Got that swamp ass going and monkey butt. You just can't help it. Even with good quality underwear, like the Under Armors, it's still going to happen depending on your environment and what you got going on. So what then do we do if you have good quality underwear that does its job, but it smushes your junk uncomfortably. And you still get, you know, when your junk's all smushed together like that, it's sticky and sweaty and 
you know, it, there's odor there. It's you can't help it. You could just douse your entire package in powder, and it's still gonna have odor later on because it's skin on skin contact in a damp environment. Just do the math here. I find we're here in quarantine. You're just bored. I know you guys have spent some money that you didn't need to on Amazon or something because what else do we have to do? All right, everything's closed. And I finally bit the bullet, and I bought a three pack of the Separatech underwear. Now I'm a big guy. And if you go on different size charts, I was kind of looking, so I was like, what's the biggest size they have? Because generally when you see like some of these fancy things, they're kind of built for your average size guys, like the guys who wear like a medium t-shirt to the gym and have like a 30 waist or whatnot. And that's kind of where I saw all their models. When I see a company that they have these tiny, skinny, metrosexual looking dudes as their models, I'm like, they're probably not going to have anything that fits me except maybe socks or maybe like a tie, something. So I generally stay away from that. But just for shits and giggles, I went to the website, and I'm like, oh, wow, they had double XL. Um, and I'm like, that's cool. Let's see what they had. And so I'm looking at their size chart, and this is important. If you're going to buy clothes online and to anybody, you kind of need to look at their size chart because everybody makes clothes differently. And where my waistline was kind of in between XL and double XL. It was like right in that happy middle. So I'm like, it's one of those things I figure, well, go ahead and buy bigger. Maybe it'll shrink a little bit because you don't want to get something that fits you and then you wash it a few times, and now it's just like uh, cutting circulation off. Because once again, it's the whole point of buying these things was to make sure you got some room and keep things separated and fresh, if you will. So I went ahead and went with the big, like I got the double XLs. Now with that, I I don't regret my purchase. Let me go ahead and say this, because I looked at size first and I didn't look at materials. So when I went with the double XLs, they only make these in like a couple of their models. And the materials of this, this is 95% bamboo rayon and 5% spandex. And they're, here's what I'm going to say, they're super, super soft. I didn't, I'd never even heard of bamboo rayon before, but it's like a really, it is, it's a super soft, it feels like microfiber in a way, like, because it seems like, you know, the little imperfections and things on my fingertips, like, I feel it catching on some of the fabric. And I've, I've washed these a couple times now. Um... It's a very soft fabric and the elastic. I like that. And I like, they also think this is the front. They keep their label on the side of it so it's not like right there in the front. You know, and I, I kind of like how they, they did the design of this. So I went with this. All right. And it does. I'm inside out. And you can see it's got, it has the hole. It's got the hole, and that's where you put your, your penis. But what sold me. When I actually clicked on the website and they actually had like a 3D model of whatever going on, this little pouch underneath the hole, it's a pouch for your sack. And it literally, so it just keeps the sack off your body and its own little pouch and then fabric over that and then your dick just hangs over that with its own little protective pouch. So then you're wearing it and you got your little, you got your wee wee through the pouch and if you got to go to the bathroom, you just lift up on the front and do your business and then cover it back up and it's still everything separated all right and I know some of you guys hear that right now you're laughing okay and I did too don't don't get me wrong when I saw the little model on their website which check their website out the little animation they have was kinda funny and I was like there's no way this is so stupid and I'm like you know what why not? let's take the plunge all right it's an issue I've had for 20 years and I'm like you know what if it solves it then I've just I've changed my life if it, if it doesn't do anything, then it was 40 bucks wasted. I've got some okay underwear that might last for a little bit. No big deal. 40 bucks for a three-pack. Who cares? I've spent worse for dumber stuff. I bought it. Got it in the mail, finally. And it worked for a couple days. I went walking, jogging. Did a lot of yard work for some friends. Um, the only thing I didn't do is like go hiking in it, but I still don't see the issue because I couldn't believe legitimately could not believe how good these are all right and I, I I literally for two days I've been planning this video here and I, I couldn't I still cannot find a good enough metaphor for when I say like when you put these on and you get your junk in place and everything's where it needs to be and you start walking around it's really alarming because you feel like you're missing something down there because your stuff everything's it's separated and you're just not, you're not used to that feeling. And it was amazing. It was, and I'm like, is this what women feel like? Like women with, you know, breasts and they put a bra on the first time. Is this what they feel like when it just lifts everything up and keeps it 
Like, I, I don't know, ladies. You might have to, like, tell me what that feels like. I never, you know. But this was the truth. It was the truth. And I, I, I'm, gentlemen, try it. They, they've got a, they've got a good quarantine sale going on. You can buy like a three pack for thirty bucks on some of their stuff. It, it's, it, it's gonna change your life. I mean, I won't go back now. These are a little large. I will say, I wish I kind of went with the, the one size down because this specific, this is not the sport model. Now, go ahead and here's another thing I need you to do too: is look at the materials on the website. I kind of wish I would have looked at materials instead of size first because I probably would have got another version of these. Um, but they actually have a poly slash spandex mix very similar to the Under Armour all right and that's what I would get now this bamboo rayon stuff like it is it's super soft like I I love the feeling of it and this does feel really good on your skin the downside and, and anybody knows this if you work like real blue collar jobs or you actually you know you go through some underwear I don't know how long this will last like I said these are these are not even a week old but I don't know, when I feel it and I feel how soft it is, I'm like, you know, it's soft and stretchy. I just feel like if these could last a year under regular use, I would be genuinely surprised. And the elastic isn't too strong. Like when I grab like when I grab my Under Armors here, and these are these are like these are over a year, these are two years old. You know, these have some really like the elastic on these Under Armors is super good. Like it's really strong. I don't I don't have near the I don't have near the that tensile strength on these uh, Separatex as I do with the Under Armors, um, and I don't know maybe they need to have a taller waistband of elastic like the Under Armors or something. But my only concern is um, if you get those super soft ones, I don't know how well these are going to last up. So if you do work like law enforcement or you work a very active job, I would definitely look into the Under Armour material, the Poly Blend or whatever they have on there that's what I would say go for because that's actually feels like it would uh, hold up very well. My point is gentlemen I challenge you alright as men I challenge you to try this and tell me I'm full of shit alright because except I'm, I'm a big dude six foot three three hundred pounds okay I'm a big dude I got everything smooshed up front and I put these on and it was the best day and here's how you know and this is gonna be a little gross TMI information but anybody who's had this problem before you know the feeling of after you work like a 16 hour shift and you go to get that shower and you're peeling stuff off and you just feel that sticky feeling on everything nothing I didn't I didn't believe it I did not believe it it was just peeled it right off and everything was dry and I just got done doing six hours of yard like no joke that was last night Spent six hours at a friend's house mowing grass, weed eating, uh, edging. I mean, I was just dripping sweat. Got home, peeling everything off to get in the shower, and then it was like, how is my how how is my junk dry? How is nothing sticking? Or there's no weird, there's no smell, there's no like, and it was a very alien sensation. It's the only way I can describe it. It was something I was like, I've never, I have no idea what this, never had this before. How am I drenched in sweat but my junk is dry? I've never, never, ever, ever known that. And um, I was like, man, these things are the truth. And even right now, as soon as I finish this video, I gotta send this video to their customer service people. And uh, there's a, now there's a few complaints. I'm gonna, I'm not say complaints, but I have some issues on uh, some of the fittings with these things. And I wanna address that with their team and see what they say. Because these are very good. But if you're a big guy like me and you got the muffin top going on and you know, you're just like, barrel big barrel chested but you have a smaller waist you know the fitting on some of these is kind of eh so aside from that gentlemen you can't beat these and don't buy the one pack it's honestly you're going to save enough you'll save money if you could buy the three pack in whatever flavor you choose buy the three pack try it and then comment on this video and i'm i'm fairly certain not a single person's gonna be like oh you're full of shit man there's this is worst underwear ever but uh, no I think yours are going to change your life like it did mine because I'm I'm about to get on here and order probably another six pairs of the Under Armour fabric because they were just so good. They were so good and I've, I've never felt anything like that. And I'm like, man, I wish I would have bought these. I don't even know how long this company's been around, for at least a year or so probably, but I, I regret I regret not buying these sooner because I uh, 
I honestly don't think I'll be buying another kind of boxer brief again in my life as long as they make these things because that, um, I'll tell you, man, you keep everything separate, just, it's a great feeling. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a little long-winded, sorry, but it's just, when you, I, I like to do a proper review, okay, and like a real review, not like a sponsored, prepaid one where somebody's like, hey, hey guys, this is so-and-so, I'm Tim, the blah, blah, blah. you know, and he's getting paid by the company. No, this is just, I'm just a regular fucking fat guy who has junk in the trunk issues and I'm just trying to share my opinion of an underwear that just revolutionized the way I do things so take that for what it is man real real, real reviews by real people that's how I look at it you know practical leave a comment below I really I, I mean I, I genuinely want to know what you guys think especially the bigger of a guy you are like you tiny skinny dudes I don't care about you I can't even relate to anything you have going on where you can just wear like go to hot topic and buy a t-shirt and it's too big for you like i don't know your struggles all right but like for big big guys like i want to know i want to know how this this helped you out or not and if it did awesome sauce so thank you guys for watching take it easy and let me know